All right, so I've got some of this Eastern white pine, really nice. I think uh, recently Mr. Rob Cosman said it was his favorite wood to work with. I can see why it's, it's, I mean, it's soft and for hand tools, really, really workable. I don't know, it's really nice and it doesn't dull anything, it's soft. And, but the grain, it's not like, um, no, oh, southern yellow pine, you know, it's not, it's not like that where, you know, it gets really hard and then really soft. So, um, it's, it's just good stuff. So anyway, um, what I'm doing with this today, my wife makes our wall art for our website. She uses, uh, well, she makes wall art and one that was ordered was one of the larger sizes that we, that we offer this is uh, gonna end up being, I think, 15 by 15. So I need to do a panel glue up. So that's what this is about. Some of the things I've learned uh, with panel glue ups and just best practices that I use. I know there's a lot of videos out there about it, but that's okay. Um, we all have something to bring to the table. And again, I don't do how-to videos. This is how I do on panel glue ups and just some tricks I've learned uh, based on my own OCD stuff that we'll get into later. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll cut two pieces at about 16 to give her clamping room on that machine right there. Uh, so she can get it clamped down and get it, uh, get it, you know, where she can make what she's got to make. She makes a, um, she makes a, uh, a like a, a Led Zeppelin piece from these. It's just a bigger piece. She makes them, they're small, that we don't need to do glue-ups for, but this one is, uh, is one of those. I'm being verbose. Already at a few minutes. Anyway, like I said, I'll cut two pieces of this at 16, and then we'll get the grain to look pretty decent, and then I'll show you how I glue them up. Okay, so, um, yeah, I got another board. That one had a knot in it. So I'm gonna cut this one to, uh, yeah, a couple pieces of 16. Okay, so, the camera okay um what i normally do with situations like this so i like that i've got really straight grain along the edges and the cathedrals in the middle any typical board right i like to do that so i can generally get a pretty good match at least to one side here because it's going to be like this hanging on the wall after it's uh, cut out and carved and then you know, after I clean these up. Now I got a bit of a nick here. So I may swing it down this way and look. And that's that's pretty good. I like that too. But I, I, I kind of like this other one better. And that gives a, a really good match on, you know, down here on the left. And then on the right, I'll just have to clean that edge up a little bit. Now I'll, I'll run these through the drum sander when it's all said and done. But I'm going to clean up these edges first on the table saw using the cut and then flip and cut method to eliminate, alleviate or eliminate any uh, flaw in the angle of the blade that might cause it to tip like this during the glue up. That's pretty good. We got some daylight through there, but that's okay. We'll clamp that up. And of course the wood's gonna swell a little bit. Uh, but as far as the grain goes, that's really good. I, I like the way that, that came out. And looking on here, you can't even see. Can I get some light? To get, a little bit, a little bit of light. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, okay, so 
I'm gonna set this down so you can see. Hopefully it's the right angle. So that's what we're gonna make. Grab a couple of these. Okay, now this wood is really flat, so I don't have a lot to worry about for keeping it. I like to get one side super duper flush and then clamp this down. Look at that sound. And thankfully this is so flat, I'm not gonna need to call this in any way. <clears throat> it's gonna, man, yeah, look at that. So, all right, so it's looking really good, but why would you clamp it without any glue, you ask? Okay, so next is one of my tips that I use. One of the, <clears throat> I used to glue these up just like this, you know, I would set them up on edge, I'd put the glue on there, and you get that slip, and you know, I've already flushed this one, like super flush tight here, and I, and I don't want to mess that up because I'm, I want a nice straight edge when I go to <clears throat> clean it. And I don't want it to move. You know, if I've got this grain the way I want it, I don't want that to slide. So um, I started doing what I'm going to show you next. I'm just going to set this down. Cut that off. <clears throat> Cut off. It's the most versatile tool in the shop. Just put a little bit of this right there on that. Just painter's tape. And it'll stick it really good. Like that. This does two things. It, uh, it keeps it from slipping this way when you press the glue together and you start applying clamp pressure. Another thing it does is, since we're going to glue it like this, is that... I don't get any glue squeeze out on my clamps. And that is worth two thumbs up because they're just so pretty. I don't like getting glue on them. Or, you know, this, this also keeps, uh, keeps it from gluing on the bottom side to your calls and all you have to worry about is just a little bit on the top. So if you, if you call it, this one's gonna be really good. We're not gonna have to worry about that. It looks like we're gonna have two workable fronts here. So what I do then, as I raise this up, and I'll let you see. And since they're both the same width, now on a three piece, it's a little different, but it's the same principles. <clears throat> Ooh, picking the booger off. <coughs> I think this glue is expired. Anyway, so what I do, and you can make this out, you can zoom in if you want. I just put a bead right there and let the edge wipe it off. As you can see, it's just right down there on where the tape meets up. And you can get your fingers in it if you want to. I don't really care to myself. I get my blue towel ready and my uh, Franks. And then I just let it sit down and watch this. So we get good squeeze out at the ends. Get that. I need a little bit of glue on my fingers, okay? That's all right. But we see we got good squeeze out. And we're going to make it happen there. This is where our cut. I kind of rushed through this. I, I, I'm on, I'll be honest. I, I kind of rushed through it a little bit. I'm just going to get the heaviest part of this off here and if we push that down you see I get good squeeze up but we never do just clamping from one side anyway so then I'll crank that down and look it's already happening in the middle 
level that up and see we didn't get any slide look how flesh that is Wipe it down again a little bit of uh -uh. Take that off and re unk that. We don't want any uh -uh. Uh, that about there. Wipe it again. Grab a third. Bring that taut. Push it down. This is call and center clamp. Done. And wiping it before I put this on keeps the glue off of this guy. And there you go. And that's going to be 16 by 16. And that's how you do it. In a couple hours, it'll be ready to use. There's the clock. A few hours later, there's the board. So I just want to see if, uh, see what it looks like. We take the clamps and the tape off and see how it went. All right, so here's our line now. And I wanted to show what's under the tape. And you can more clearly now see the bulge that happens under the tape. Just going to peel this off, just really to show that we do get squeeze out on both sides. And you can see it really well there and even finer here and, and all the way you can feel it where you can't see it. Choice looks like uh, it's super flat. No tippy. Very nice. So that's it. Just uh, the tips I wanted to share with my glue up techniques. You know, I add those uh, tips to your toolbox and I hope that helps for you. Um, if there's anything there that you can use, any suggestions, I'd, I, yeah, <laughs> I'd love them. That's really it. So thanks for your time and have a great day. Mm -hmm.